contact sheet of photographs taken at Duran's first gig and uh, 30 years ago. And I've not looked at this contact sheet in 30 years. It's interesting to see me or whoever that guy is that purports to be me and think about what he's about to get himself into. Uh, the journey that he's going to take. This is my diary from 1981 and uh, three tours of uh, Britain alone and an American tour, our first trip to America. The first time I was ever screamed at by an audience of about 2,000 at Brighton on June 29th, a Monday. I'll never forget that night and getting to tell my story is turning into quite an adventure and um, one that I'm having a tremendous amount of fun doing. You know, I was always really into the artistic side, the graphic design side of the band, and I did a lot of the early posters. This is the, uh, the poster that I made for the first Duran Duran gig on Thursday the 5th of April, 1979. Jane Fonda, Barbarella, without her, we'd have no band name. Barbarella hadn't have been shown on the BBC that Monday night. We would have been called Arabia. <laughs> This is the um, tour program for the first Japanese tour and on the first page there's a photograph taken on the streets of New York. We met Andy Warhol on this trip as well and we got taken down to the factory on Union Square on our first visit to New York and Andy was fantastic, he loved us, we loved him. He took Polaroids of everybody, gave us copies of his book and I think we had the first, first press story of the band in America. This is our second album, came out in 1982. It was one of my ideas to name the song Rio, and Simon took it and ran with it and turned it into a song about a girl named Rio, who has now become this girl who Patrick Nagel painted in Santa Monica just before he died. We were lucky to get this. Um, you know, this is an amazing part of our journey, and you're going to read about it. It's an enlightening process writing a book. Um, mostly it's a lot of fun watching that young man that I once was embarking on this uh, fantastic journey. There's a dark side, a really uh, pretty terrifying at times. Uh, sometimes I want to say, watch it, don't go, don't do that. <laughs> but he's going to do it anyway. <laughs>